Wasn't that necky though? Yeah. Oh, super necky. Low in the face. But Yeah, like my whole defense is I just got to get it in play on the course. And you do very straight. Yeah, like that's all I. I, I can see that. Yeah, I just think I just, that I, I just think that uh, that is not like you describe the athleticism and all that. I think is your head more than anything. I think I think you're not giving yourself <laughs> the proper credit to to compete off the tee. I don't I don't that mind. Would... I don't think you should be trying to kill it either. I think yeah. that's a wrong. I just think that if you are fitting somebody, which I know you're pretty darn good at it. I would never put them in You will bed. have a problem with the efficiency of your driver. I will, I, that's the first thing that jumped in my head. I'm like, yeah. no, you can't, be, you, can't be, you can't be leaving that many ball speed out just Salt. because of yeah. that. And that's, that's how I see it. I'm like, all right, perfect. So, so, so that to me was, <coughs> that was ideal. 2,900 RPMs and all that. And we know that that's yes. it. This is, that shot specifically, which is ideal and I like it, that shot will be better over this one. Well, by the way, think about it. Firewood, second choice was that one. Irons was pretty good. On well, the wedges, it kept up. And on the driver, is about to win. Yeah. Guess where we're leaning. So this ball should be higher. High with low spin. So which then lets I, you go with that cut and try to keep it a little more under control. So, if so that I ball think it'll be tighter. So if that ball's naturally higher. No, this is just me thinking. I would eventually be able to go to less loft, which would increase ball speed. I know, but yeah, but it will decrease spin. Yeah. And that'll be a fight. So I think you accomplish you accomplish your your launch angle by angle of attack. Yes. So even if you're going to go de lofted, you're going to be launching at 14 anyway. Yeah. But your spin rate will drop. Yeah. So That's so right. you'll be fighting more what you don't want to fight. Yeah. So I know. No, I think okay. I think it's somewhere in be I think 10 degrees is still pretty good. I I just I just don't know. So this is, remember when we talk about firmer feel yes. with a lot of spin? Yes. Yeah, that definitely feels firmer, but it's stopping a lot faster. Yeah, it's rabbit, isn't it? Now, let's go opposite. So let's skip the white one for now, and let's go opposite. So we're gonna go maybe on paper, lower compression, softer feel. Okay. Let's see how it goes. so surprising it felt so soft but it released more than I would have anticipated yes you still see the desire yes. of wanting to go a little higher yes. off the face so that's where the separation between feel and covers and performance is more related to materials and compression wow. let's go back to the front to the first one here no 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 that one I bet, if I, land, I bet if I land, I bet if I land. Go to play the left hand. And that's kind of like a little bit of the opposite, which is uh, technically a little firmer feel, but it's going to have that bite that you were looking for still. But it jumps, you see it? Yeah. It jumps in a different way. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. roll off the face, but it, it feels hot coming out. The Pro E1X, the Pro E1 cover, much better around the greens, but not really that much different to your performance with the left eye. Mm -hmm. AVX, a little more loose, a little higher, a little different feel. On the middle irons, on the, on the shorter shots, and around the green, we've noticed that. On the longer irons, we do have the height. The difference on the height didn't make that much of a difference, the right. difference in spin. So Pro E1X got a little shorter. Uh, AVX was a little more uh, longer because it was lower spin. Probably one X left eyes always right there with yes. consistent spin and some control. Then we get to the fairway wood where we were looking for a higher trajectory, 
and we noticed that Pro V1 X all of a sudden became the better bowl. Sure. Pro V1 stays flat, ABS really got lower. Yes. And AV, uh, Pro V1 X left dash remains right by right. the Pro V1 X. Then when we get to a driver, which we want to add spin on purpose, uh -huh. but we don't want to get it away from us, but we still want that high trajectory, left dash became uh -huh. still there. So if you look at it, you're like, man, come on, you know, we got it. Every category was always there, either one or two. Best ball or the next best ball. But overall, undeniably, a better ball for your titles. No question. Yeah, I agree. So after, and, and funny enough, it really doesn't match the feel as you described it at the no. beginning. But through hitting it, you never complain about the feel either. But through the experience, I realized the feel I was looking for was only because it was familiar. It doesn't make it right. Which we talk about that too. Yes, say, it look, does, yeah. Different is just that, different. Different. But when you have side-by-side -side comparisons, you're like, hey, they're not that really much different. You know, and, and another thing that affects, you know, if it's colder, it might feel a little more clicky. That's sure. normal. But you know what? you still looking for the same results numerically. Yes. So we don't fit the conditions. You can get away with conditions, the green side, yeah, yeah. the green, uh, the type of the grass, but we're uh, we're fitting you, the player. So so weather, temperature, seasons. No, you're you. You're looking for the same thing mechanically. So we're not switching back and forth. It's very rarely that you find a player that in the summer I play this, in the winter yes, I play this. Yes. So after two hours of ball fitting, we've decided that the Pro V1 X left dash is the one that fits me. David, can't thank you enough, my man. Thank you. Was Appreciate awesome. you coming out. That was one of the best experiences, man, I've ever had. Can't, I like that. Can't tell you how much I just learned. Now we're going to do it again with more people. There so we thanks. Go. What an experience that was, spending a couple hours with David to decide what is the perfect ball for me. I'm really looking forward to getting on the golf course, giving this ball a shot. And if you're lucky enough to have this opportunity, I highly recommend it. It was very educational, but also a fun experience to see what some of the best players in the world actually get to experience when being fit for a golf ball. Make sure you subscribe and hit the like button for more content like this. <laughs>